already uploaded a 30 ab exercises workout and also another one for licks and many of you have asked for this arms one to complete the whole series so here we go I have put 30 of my favorite arms exercises at home in this 15 minutes workout that worked really well for me to really help slim down my arms and to tighten the flappy area right here this workout will be in Tabata style so each exercise 20 seconds with 10 seconds rest in between just follow me and enjoy the burn and if you're ready let's go Let's warm up our arms with our first exercise, air circles. Arms straight out to the side, rotate them in circles, first 10 seconds to the front, and then switch to rotating to the back. We're moving our whole arms and not just the forearms. No dropping, let's start the workout strong. Second exercise is inch work. Walk your hands forward until you're in high plank position. Hands below your shoulder, hold your abs tight, make sure your body is in a straight line. Then walk your hands back to your feet. This works wonders not only for the arms but also the full body. Third exercise is shoulder tap. Exercise. Holding in high plank position, raise one arm to tap the opposite shoulder and keep alternating. Try your best to hold your core tight and not move your hip from side to side too much. Is knee push up. Knees on the floor, bend your elbows to lower your body, then push back up. Exercise. Key is to keep your elbows close to your body and draw your shoulder blades back and down. The burn is real, but this is what we're here for. Challenge yourself, don't stop, take a deep breath and keep pushing. Fifth, let's stand back up for a little cardio jock and punch. Exercise. Keep jocking as you punch your arms out, alternating between sides. The harder you punch, the more burn, so push it. We're not here to slack. Is commando. This ain't, yeah, this ain't no sugar coated love. Exercise. Now, this is a tough one. Start an elbow plank, then push yourself up with one arm followed by the other. Then lower back down again. Only 20 seconds, guys. We can do it. We have the power to get ourselves towards our goal. Stand up again for ring the bell. Exercise. Hands and fists. Imagine there's a bell above your head and hit it as hard as you can. This targets the flabby area under the arm. Hit it hard, guys. Everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our grave. But sorry, there's a light. Yes. Eighth is wall push-up. Place your hands on the wall. This is just like a regular push-up. And you can adjust the difficulty by yourself depending on how far you walk your feet back. The further your feet are from the wall, the more challenging it is and the more burn you get. Maximize the burn and make every second count. Ninth is plank to down dog. Exercise. 
exercise. From high plank position, press your arms into the floor, tip up in the air to form an upside down V. This is your down dog position. Alternate between the two. Keep breathing, keep moving. Rest. Tenth is elbow plank to dolphin to keep the burn going. Exercise. This is similar to the last one but with elbows on the floor so it's actually harder with more intense burn. We're not stopping here, only a couple more seconds to go. Hang in there. Rest. We're done with one third of this workout already. Eleventh, we'll stand up for diagonal chop as a little fun break but still working the arms for slimming. Exercise. Hands together, chop down to opposite side as if you're chopping a piece of wood and your hands are the eggs. The harder you chop, the more results you get. Twelfth is tricep dip, the most effective workout to target the flabby part under our arms. Exercise. Hands behind your back, lift your hip up, then lower your body to tap the floor lightly with your butt, and push yourself up again for every rep. The burn is insane, but trust me, it's totally worth it. Do this for yourself. Thirteenth is yoga push-up. Exercise. Start in upward facing dog position, then push your hip up into down dog position, and bend your elbows as you dive back down to up dog. This is one of the hardest but most effective exercises. Enjoy the burn, almost there. We deserve a little break after that, so 14th is arm pull. Exercise. Arms straight out, palms facing down, then pull your elbows as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your arms back to the front. Focus on a strong pull each rep. It looks easy, but your arms should be feeling sore. Let your body do the work. Rest. 15th is single arm plank hold. We're working on the right side foot. Exercise. Get into high plank position, lift left arm up and just hold it there. It's hard I know but this is getting us closer to our goals. If it's easy, everyone can do it. Don't give up. We're halfway through. Sixteenth is same as the last one, but this time working on the left side. Exercise. I know you really want to come down. Just twenty more seconds. Prove to yourself what you can achieve. is pipe push-up, another one of my favorite push-up variations. Exercise. Lift your hip up so that your body is in an upside down V. Bend your elbows to lower your upper body until the top of your head nearly touches the floor. Then push yourself back up. Keep pushing, don't stop. You're everything that I could ever want. Your touch so soft. 18th will stand up for arm fly. Exercise. Similar to air circle, arms to the side, but this time lift them up and down as if you're flying with your wings. Put in more force, fly harder, don't underestimate the burn of this exercise. And we're on to our ninth exercise, plank punch. My favorite of all times. Exercise. 
In elbow plank position, punch one arm forward, alternate between sides. Punch as hard as you can, all the frustrations, negative emotions, punch them all out. Rest. 12 is wing fly. Bend your upper body down to almost parallel to the floor. Lift your arms up to the back as you squeeze your upper back and shoulder blades together. Only one third of the workout left. Hang in there. You and me. Next one is hand release knee push up. We've had our grade, but so there's a light. This is just like regular push-up, except that when you lower your body to the floor, quickly lift both hands off the floor before putting them back down and push yourself up. I'm not giving up, so don't quit on me. Twenty second is crab walk. Hands behind your back, lift your body up, start walking backwards until you have no more space, and walk forward again. Continue back and forth until 20 seconds are up. Rest. 23rd is thigh tap. In high plank position, lift one arm up to tap the side of your thigh and alternate between sides. Exercise. I love fitness because a lot of things in life we cannot control, but the transformation on your body that we can achieve is entirely up to us. You put in the hard work, you get the results. So even when you feel like giving up, keep going and that's what leads you to success. Twenty fourth is Superman. I still got the feeling that you're next to me. Lie face down with arms and legs extended, then lift your arms and legs up at the same time as high as possible. Lower back down. Keep lifting. We're also feeling the burn in our back. Rest. 25th is diamond knee push-up. This variation targets more of the tricep to tighten that flabby area at the back of our arms. Position your index fingers and thumbs so that they're touching, forming a diamond shape. Then perform push-ups as how you normally do. This gives the most intense burn, I know, but that's why it works. No slacking, you can rest very soon. Rest. Nice. 26th is single arm tabletop, starting with right side first. Lift your body up and also your left arm up. Just hold it there, lift your butt higher. You feel like you're dying here. Look at me, I'm the same. This hurts so bad, but we're stronger than we think. So let's hold it. Only a couple more seconds to go. Oh, what are you, mama? Oh my god. You got it. Yes. Oh. 27th is same exercise on the left side. So right arm up this time. Exercise. Hold it guys, stay determined, no dropping, but up higher, only less than 2 minutes till the end of this workout, let's push for the final exercises. Twenty-eighth is side plank rotation, working the right side. I got you, don't wanna show, oh, oh. Get into elbow plank, then lift right arm up to rotate your body to the side. Come back down, we're almost done with the workout. Give it your all. Rest. 29th, same exercise, this time lifting your left arm and rotating your body to the left. And we're 
finally on to our last exercise for the ultimate arms burn half plank hold exercise start in high plank then lower your body and bend your elbows to 90 degrees just hold it there keep your elbows right next to your body i know exactly what you're thinking right now you really want to drop to the floor it's so hard just breathe we're almost done with this whole workout ah. if i can do it you can do it too <laughs> and we did it 30 arm exercises good job on getting it done you did amazing shake out your arms stretch a bit you can head over to my complete stretch videos as well my arms are like jelly right now but i actually enjoy this feeling because it means the work i put in just now are not a waste and this will bring me closer to my goals you can include this workout as part of your routine and do it two to three times a week you can also go to my one month calendar to see how you can schedule my workouts it was great working out with you see you again really soon